Alright kids, we're going to be doing a 2x2 two two tutorial, yay, 2x2, two two. my favourite, favourite, favourite cube. Um, this is very easy, you can learn how to do one of these if you've got one, uh, if you want to get one or you're just bored and you know trolling YouTube as usual. Um, this one uh, can be solved in one algorithm, you only have to learn one algorithm and you can complete the whole cube. Um, it is the same algorithm that rotates the corners. Uh, in the beginner method of the 3x3. So if you haven't done that, there's a 3x3 three three, uh, tutorial, beginner tutorial just here, which basically has three different uh, algorithms that you need to learn in order to finish it. This one, you only need the one, which is the one that basically rotates the corners, as I said. So what we'll do is we'll mix it up and we'll give it a go. Okay, so this... Um, uh, can basically be solved in very few steps. Um, the first step is basically get the top layer done and by that I basically mean you have to have four white pieces on the top and then the two colors corresponding to each other. So for instance you would have white, 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 white and then you would have the two reds, uh, two greens, two oranges and then two blues at the top. So this basically this whole layer is done. That's the first step. The next step is to have a quick look at uh, the bot, the what, what will then you flip it over so that's on the bottom and then this will be on the top. You have a look and you get one of the corners into the correct position. So what I mean by that is you'll they'll all have yellow and two other colours. So you have to say match up. Uh, so this is yellow, red, and green. So you'd match it up with say the other red and green uh, on the on on the bottom here. So you know that this particular one was in the right spot meaning that these three will then be in the wrong spots. You do the algorithm to rotate those three to get them into the correct positions, and then you orientate the corners to get them into their correct orientation. Cube finished. Easy. Let's do it. Hmm. All right, perfect. All right, let's do it. So first step, <clears throat> first step as I said, is to get the, the top layer done with all the white ones on the top, so we'll find one. We'll find one. This is going to be our top face here. We've got white, and then so we could get these other other three happening here. So what we'll do is we'll have a look for one that has white and red. So white and red. So this one has white and red. So this one, you can see this one needs to go here. Okay. So similar to the um, uh, three by three method, basically when you've got a corner on the bottom and you want to move it to the top, what you've got to do is you've got to have it below where it needs to be. So it is, it needs to be here, and th this is where it is. So basically, what you do, you've got to here, you've got the white facing you. Okay, the white's facing you. It's on the bottom. The white is facing towards you. It's on the left. Okay, it's on the left hand side. So what you want to do is you want to move it out of the way. You want to move it to the right because it's on the left. You want to move it to the right. So you move it to the right. Okay, move the left down. Okay, move the bottom back across so it matches up, lines up, and then you move that back up. Okay, so it's a couple of very easy steps there, and you'll notice now we've got that, those two treasures uh, in the correct position. So here we go, we've got a green, uh, green and orange and white, so that, that's got green, orange and white, and this has got a blue face. So this does not go here, this must go on this side. So if you have a quick look, it's got a green there, and it's got green, white and green. Okay, so you rotate the bottom around, again, it, needs, it goes below where it needs to be. Here again, it's on the left, so you move it to the right, move down the left, move the bottom back across and then lift it up. Okay, so you notice now you've got that there and you've got these all together, easy. Great, now this is good, this is a good uh, opportunity to explain this, it's on the top, all right? So basically you need to have it on the bottom as I said, it needs to be on the bottom uh, in order for you to move it up into the correct position. So what you need, to, if it is on the top here, you just basically move it down, get it out of the way, out of the field of motion they call it, and then you lift that back up, Okay, so now you've got just a just a dummy piece in there and the other piece is on the bottom. Aha, perfect. The white is actually on the bottom. Before where I was showing you if it was on the right, you would follow a certain number of steps, which if, if it was on the right, you would move it to the left, move the you know, move the right down, etc. Because this is actually on the bottom, this is a good opportunity for me to show you. So it's here. You still need to have it where it, uh, below where it needs to be, okay? And it's here. So you bring the right towards you, so you bring it uh, bring it down, okay, and then you move the bottom twice, so one, two, okay, and then you lift the top back up again, okay, so now what you've done is you've orientated the white piece so that it is facing you, okay, so again, you've got to have it where, down below where it needs to be, okay, it's on the left, so it's on the left, so you move it to the right, okay, move that down, okay, move this across, and then move that back up, All right? so now you've noticed you've done the whole... 
Okay, guys, just a quick side note. Um, every time that I put a, a piece in its correct position on the top there, it was actually on the left-hand side every single time. So I'm just going to quickly show you if it's on the right. So if you were had your piece below where it needs to be, which is the first step, um, and you want to move it up, see this one's actually on the right, which is fine. So it's on the right, so you want to move it to the left, okay? And then move the right down, move it back over, okay? And then move the top. Uh, move it back up to the top like that, so you rotate the right back up. So I'll just quickly show you to get that again. If it's here, so it's on the it's on the right. So you go to the left, move it to the left. Okay, move down the right, move the bottom back over, and then rotate that piece back up again. And then you'll notice that your top layer is done. Okay, on to the last layer. Um, with this. Uh, this is where that algorithm comes into place. That's uh, the one algorithm that you need to learn in order to be able to do uh, do the cube. First, what you want to do is you've got to get this orientated uh, into the correct position. And the way that you do that is you have a quick look. Um, they're all going to have a yellow, right? Because they're all going to basically have a yellow piece at the top. Then they're all going to have two other colors. So what you want to do is you want to match up. We're going to. I'm just going to pick this one here. So you got red and green. Okay. You want to rotate it around until it matches up with the red and the green. So no, 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 yes, perfect, okay. So you've got yellow, which like I said, they'll all have that. Then you've got red and green, red and green, perfect. Now, have a quick look at the other ones. You're going to notice, in most cases, the other three are going to be wrong. Well, not in most cases, but that's basically what you want to look for. So you've got green, orange, red, and blue, perfect, okay. So then no, that's got a blue, but it's got red and orange, okay, it's not in the right spot. Right, okay, so basically you've got this one. The green and the red is in the right spot. The other three are not in the right spot. This is how you want the cube to be. In some cases, you'll have two that are in the right spot and two that don't. They might be next to each other. They might be opposite each other like that. Um, that's not how you want it to be. So in that case, what you want to do is you want to rotate, pick, pick another one. So say pick, pick one that isn't in the right spot, one of the ones that aren't, and put it in the right spot and then check the other three. So basically what you want to do is you want to have one that's in the right spot. Right, now that you've got it like that, um, what you want to do is you want to follow this algorithm, okay? So you want to have the one that's in the correct position if the front is facing you. So this is the top, so this is front is facing you. You want to have it in the top right-hand corner here. Or looking at the, from the top, you want to have it in the bottom right-hand right corner here. So that piece has to be there. And you have to follow this algorithm, okay? So you have to rotate the top up, okay? Do right. And then do uh, up prime, so up anti-clockwise that way, okay? And then left prime, left anti-clockwise that way. And then do another up, okay? Up, ro uh, up rotation. And then a, a right prime or right uh, anti-clockwise. And then an up uh, anti-clockwise or up prime. And then go left, uh, left turn, left turn. So bring bring the side back down again. So what you have, we'll have a quick look here. So you notice that was the one that we wanted in the right spot. Let's check the other ones. Okay, that's in the right spot. That's in the right spot. That's in the right spot. If you had done that, let's say you'd done that particular algorithm and for whatever reason, this one, as I said, will always be in the same spot and these were still not in the same spot. Then basically you just do it again. There we go. Check them. No, not quite right. No, not quite right. Okay, so we do it again. One more time, and then we go, here we go. Okay, so now you'll notice that all four uh, are in the correct spots. They're just not orientated correctly. Okay, next step. Easy. Right, so that was the only algorithm you needed to learn. Um, I've, I'll put another video here, and I'll take you through a little bit slower. Happy to click on that and take you through a little bit uh, step by step and on how I've remembered it and how, you know, the easy ways you remember it, etc., etc. Um the last step, as I said, just to orientate these corners, it's not really an algorithm, it's just a, I, I, I wouldn't call it an algorithm, it's a sequence of moves, you could call it an algorithm, I guess, I, I don't. Um, what we've got is uh, rotation, okay, cool, so the, these, one, these ones are here, these are the two that need to be uh, orientated or rotated, so the one that you're going to rotate is going to be this one here, the one in, that we had from the previous uh, step, the one that didn't move, so you've got to have it in this top top right hand position. And basically what you're going to do is you've got to go right prime, D prime, R, D. Okay? That's it. Right prime, D prime, R, D. That's it. You just got to keep doing that. Move, move this. This one is now in the correct position, as you can see. So it's it's orientated correctly. Don't worry about what this stuff's doing. So this is orientated correctly. Now you've got to orientate this one. So you need to put it in the top right hand corner here. Okay? And you follow that same algorithm again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Again, R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Perfect. They're the steps that you 
to orientate this top layer in its correct position, and then you can see you just match up match up the colors. So red, red, green, green. There you go.